Pastor on Bible Answers. Hi, you're on Bible Answers. Hi, Pastor. How are you? Good. Good. What's your opinion about what the Pope said? Well, what did you hear him say? Well, I heard him say it's okay to be homosexual, but not the act. Okay. So, um, this is this is getting really interesting. What makes somebody a homosexual? I don't know. No, come on. What makes somebody a homosexual? Attracted to the same sex. Okay. That's not the Bible term. Uh, that's not the Bible definition of the sin. The sin is the act. Mm -hmm. You with me? Mm -hmm. So I have a question for you. If you don't mind me asking, uh, we could we could make it um, we could make it less personal if you want. But uh, w would you agree that most men that are um, um, that are heterosexual have had desires for women that are not their wives? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Now, is is that a problem? Um, no, unless you act on it, I guess. Well, if you fantasize about it, that's a problem, yes? Yeah. Because yeah. the Bible says, you know, if you, you, you've you committed adultery, whether in your heart, you, you know, you've already committed adultery, uh, that sort of thing. So, you don't want to fantasize about it. So, here's a question. If that is, so, what, can we say... It is a sinful desire that has not been acted on? It's up to that person, I guess. No, listen to me. If a guy has a desire for a woman that's not his wife, is that a sinful desire that has not been acted on? Yes. Yes. Okay. So definitely not the same as if he were committing adultery. Yep. You with me? Okay, so does that make him an adulterer? In heart, yeah. Okay, does it make him an adulterer that would end his marriage? He could, yeah, if you acted on it. You're not hearing my question. No. The guy is the guy is fantasizing about it. Yeah. Most guys fantasize about, or or. Most guys have desires sometimes. They fight, yes? Yes. Okay. Does that then automatically make them an adulterer and his wife leave him? No. No. It is something he fights and doesn't succumb to, yes? Yes. Okay. Now, Just because a guy has adulterous thoughts or temptations, let's let's even make it simpler. Just because a guy has adulterous temptations doesn't make him an adulterer, right? Right. Okay. So if a guy happens to have homosexual thoughts, that doesn't make him a homosexual. No. No. It's the act. You with me? Yeah. So I think what what really it's a, it's an interesting thing because folks have all kinds of secret passions and um, temptations that they don't act on. Those temptations do not define the person. But we're living in a society today when uh, folks are pushing so hard to normalize the sin of homosexual acts. They'll say, oh, well, if you have homosexual thoughts, then you are a homosexual. No, you're not. Not until you commit a homosexual act. You with me? Because, anyway, so what the Pope was saying is basically he was saying and I'm not Catholic and I don't agree with everything that they teach but basically he was saying what 
uh, good evangelical folks have been saying all along, we love the sinner, we hate the sin. He, everybody wants to make, make that what the Pope is saying is, is that he is getting ready to open the floodgates and say that the sin of homosexuality is okay, and he's not. Yeah. Cardinal Dolan was, was very clear on that. He's saying, look it, if somebody struggles with that, that is one type of, of, of struggle, um, and God can liberate and forgive uh, but it is the act of any kind of sex outside of marriage that is sinful. Yeah. And, and, and so um, I think that what, what is happening, and again, I, I'm, I'm not Catholic and I, I'm not necessarily sympathetic to, to Pope Francis. However, Pope Francis strikes me as just a real down-to-earth nice guy. And he was just uh, speaking candidly uh, in, in an interview, just a, a candid look at, you know, we don't hate folks that uh, struggle with these things. Um, and then all of a sudden, people want to say, oh, see there, he's getting ready to say homosexuality is okay. And we're not going to condemn them, no, you know. But, but not, right, but the, but... But at no point, and, and again, I, I don't agree with the Roman Catholic stand, but it was interesting. Um, somebody asked Cardinal Dolan today, boy, if you, can, if you get, can see that, I think it was on Fox News, that interview with Cardinal Dolan. Man, did he, uh, he answered some tough questions very well. And he said this, he said, uh, he said, no, a pope is not going to just all of a sudden uh, reverse his position on the actual sin because uh, we are entrusted with a greater revelation and we can't change the revelation. Now, he's coming short of what, you know, a, a Baptist or a, uh, an evangelical would say is, look, look, it, it's in the Bible. We can't just change the Bible because, because society is weird. Um, it's, it's there. It doesn't change. Can we love people that struggle with that sin? Sure do, and sure should. But again, I think it's, it's important that we uh, to not ostracize folks. If somebody is struggling with homosexual thoughts, understand those thoughts are sinful. Uh, and, 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 and the action would be sinful. So you fight those thoughts, you bring every thought into captivity, and don't say, oh, because I have those thoughts, I am a homosexual. No. No way. You know, yeah. no more than the person who might be tempted to commit adultery is an adulterer. No, he's not, because he hasn't acted on it. You with me? The woman in the Bible, when she got caught committing adultery, they were with stones, right? Yep. They, they were going to stone her. Yes. And Jesus says he without sin set a stone. Yep. And a lot of people wrote that on on uh, comments on the internet. He was, the, you know, without sin, let him cast the stone. But they didn't finish the scripture. There's a whole major part to that because after they put their stones down and walked away. Jesus was alone. He says, where's your convictions? And she says, they're not here. He goes, well, they, they don't convict you. And I don't convict you. And then what did he say? Go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. Do not commit that sin no more. Right. That's the whole thing. Yeah, but see, he was the only one without that sin. That's yeah. why he stayed. And he said, go and sin no more. Not... But it's okay. Exactly. It's okay. Exactly. He called it for what it was. That's that's a really good point, friend. Yeah. You know, just like the man. He said, uh, you know, you're healed. I don't know if he was blind or, his, or he couldn't walk, but don't sin anymore or it'll get worse or something like that. Or something worse will happen to you. He said right. You know? 
I mean, he will forgive you, but he's going to tell you, don't do it anymore. That's right. You know, it's not, it's okay to do it. No, but he's not saying that. That's exactly right. You know? And he's not condemning you, but he's telling you, don't do it anymore. That's right. Or something worse will happen. Yep. His first message was repent. Yep. Right? Yep. Yeah. You know? Well, thank you for your call. I appreciate it. Okay. Hey, did you ever get to listen to that guy? I told N- you? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye.